And our last example will be quite tricky. Given x is greater than 100, find the range of x plus 10. And uh, at first, it seems obvious, x is greater than 100. Therefore, find the range of x plus 10. We can simply add 10 on both sides of the inequality. So x plus 10 will be greater than 110. So this is the range of x plus 10. But what if we let y equals to x plus 10? Then we can express this in terms of y and then we can now find the range of y will be greater than 110. And so if I give you another expression, if p equals to 5x, then can we find the range of p? And again, we should start with the original inequality. x is greater than 100. And if we multiply both sides by 5, we have 5x greater than 500. And at last, we can replace this 5x by p. We have p greater than 500. And this is the final range of p. And again, if we are given x is greater than 100, and if m is equal to 5x plus 10, find the range of m. And now we start with the original inequality. And you have to make up this term, 5x plus 10, in the end. We have to make up 5x plus 10 in the end. So we start from this, and we have to end in this. So we multiply both sides by 5. We have this one, 5x greater than 500. And then we add both sides by 10. And now we have 5x plus 10 greater than 500 plus 10. And the left-hand side will become m. And the right-hand side will be 510. Now we can successfully find the range of m.